So dividing polynomials is one thing, like, you know, it's going to come up. And whether or not you think it's cool, it comes up a lot. Um, and there's two different ways to do the division of polynomials, right? One is long division, and one is synthetic division. And I'm going to be honest right now, I overwhelmingly prefer synthetic division. I would do it every time that I could. But there's some cases where you can't do synthetic division of polynomials. And then there's just cases where, like, for some reason, your teacher's trying to teach you long division and says, don't do synthetic, even though it's better. That's like saying, you know, it's probably better to drive uh, across California than walk, but for some reason, someone said to walk. Whatever. So now we're doing long division of polynomials against my will. You set it up like a normal flat-out division problem, right? I mean, it's just a division problem. You have this polynomial divided by this polynomial. And actually, you know, my venting aside, it's pretty easy, okay? What's weird about it, though, is that you have this whole x minus 2, and I'm going to tell you to only look at the x. That's kind of like counterintuitive. So what you do is you look at x, and you look at the first guy in the sequence, x squared. Don't ignore everything else. Ignore the minus 2. Ignore everybody. And you say... What would I do to this guy, x, to make him x squared? What would I multiply x by, the first, forget him, him by, to get him? And the answer is, well, x. Because now, well, x times x is x squared. I met my goal. But what then, what you do is you actually distribute it to both. So now you have x squared minus 2x, right? So I only considered the x when I picked him, but then once I picked him, I multiply him to both, right? I'm not done being confusing. Because now, x times x, x squared, minus 2, okay, we're done. Now, once you brought them down here, you actually have to change both of their signs, right? And it kind of, it's kind of like this, 2 into 84. You go like this, if you remember from back in the fifth grade. Oh, this is a 4, and then you go to, and then after he's here, you then minus him. Well, it's a little more complicated here, because after he's here, you minus him, but that would distribute to both, right? Technically, you could do that, right? You minus him. I don't really do the parentheses thing. What I do is, this is my patented technique that you can use if you want. All you do is you change both. Watch this. Boom, boom. That is the same as the parentheses with the negative one because you would then distribute it. So it's all, everyone's happy. This is, this is, makes sense. Now you draw your line. I've changed both signs. Now I add down. Oh, they're gone. That's not an accident. I did that on purpose. This guy becomes 5x, and then we carry down the negative 10. Now, same thing. Now, I only look at my first guy, and I only look at my first guy. What would I multiply x by to get 5x? The answer, of course, is a positive 5, so I put plus 5. But even though I only cared about him to pick the 5, he distributes to both. Now, we have 5x minus 10. Now, here's the big moment. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Change both signs, right? Oh, gone, gone. Remainder is zero. There is no remainder. So the answer is x plus 5. Just for the record, if there was a remainder, like let's say for some reason it came out and there was a remainder of like 3, you would literally just write an r and then 3. Cool? So that's long division. I don't really see that there's necessarily the need to complain about it. It's a little bit lame, especially when you find out about the magical joy of synthetic division. Yeah, go, go Google that. Find that online, synthetic division of polynomials. Uh, and and it, then you'll probably like that better. That's how you do them. And remember, if you're having a hard time with your math class at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School. Uh, pass it there and have the credits transferred back to your school.